Welcome to a webinar of Anders Technology. This is Yi Zhang Chen. Today I am going to introduce our flexible risk five processor simulation model and this is C for SOC virtual prototyping. In this webinar, we will provide an overview of Indis and some of our successful story with our risk five solution. Then I will jump into today's topic to talk about the concept of the virtual prototyping and the benefit of using this module followed by introduce you our flexible and decisive solution that can accelerate in the overall SOC development cycle. We will also show you an NDCC example and conclude today's webinar with a summary. And this technology is a 16 pure play CPU IP public company with headquarters in Xinchu, Taiwan. We are a RISC-V Foundation a funding member and also a premium member and a very active in RISC-V International. We are also a major contributor and maintainer to open source uh, ecosystem. With many years experience in CPU industrial and very strong R&D team, and this has over 200 licensees, about 20,000 installation of our ND sign IDE, and over 7 billion total shipment of NDIS embedded SOC. Our NDIS RISC 5 processor has been used by many different applications, and here are some highlights of a recent SOC announcement from our customer. Rensus, ASP, MCU, and Tiling IoT and Wireless Audio SOC are both small but high volume ship. People can use 32 and 25 to build their 5G small cell SOC. And we also have several customers using our vector processor NX27V to design AI accelerator on server and cloud applications. And because Endis V5 processors configurability, custom instruction, security features, strong integer and DSP performance, good development tool from Endis as well as partners such as IAR and strong LLVN support for AI compilers. That's why so many customers are using our solution to decide their product. Now let's look at what the virtual prototyping and some technique of the virtual prototyping and also the benefit of using virtual prototyping. Virtual prototyping is a method in the processing the product development. By using some technique, designer can create a virtual twin that behaves or has the same functionality and even near psychiatric information of the expect physical IP or device. This virtual prototype can be used by simulator and software to evaluate, test, and analyze and validate the system architecture and software application before committing to implementing the real hardware. For example, in traditional SOC design, designers need to finalize the hardware design before going to develop the software applications. If there is some simulation model they can represent each IP we would like to use for our SOC design, the architecture team can use this model to build the virtual prototype and software designer can start the development and analysis the function and performance based on this near separate upgrade virtual prototype and even provide feedback to our team earlier. Since the development of hardware and software can be parallel by using virtual prototype, there are several huge benefits during the overall development cycle. First, enable the possibility of software and hardware team to provide feedback 
earlier with each other before finalizing hardware and software architecture. Designer can repeat prototype without heavily depending on each other the schedule. Second is the code verification. Hardware and software can cross-check their design to make sure that functionality is correct with some golden reference which can be easily improve the quality of the products. Third, because the quality can be improved under this development method, the chip respin will be much less. And the last one, the overall development time and cost can be reduced since the development cycle can be overlapped. So in order to provide a solution of virtual prototyping, we need a method to help us to achieve this goal. And that's why we're the ESL can jump in. Electronic system level is the first time defined by Genet Data Core in 2001. It is the methodology for hardware and software code design and code verification to help the designer to easily construct or reconfigure the SOC model in different development phase without worry about the detail of hardware implementation. With the information of a higher level abstraction about the RTO, designer can quickly to construct, debug, verify, or even validate the functionality and performance by using in-house C on C++ simulation models or several different attribute standards such as System C, Unified Power Format, IPEZ, or others. Many companies provide simulation models based on this popular standard from the industrial, which can better, which has a better compatibility and portability for their customer, and simply integrate with other IPs or tools from third party to build a virtual prototype of the SOC. System C is defined and promoted by Open System C Initiated, which now is Accelera. It's a modeling language in system level and provides event-driven simulation interface. The very origin of, SO, uh, of the system C is a set of a C++ class and the marker, and now it includes more its own system C syntax and library, which are used to define the model, ports, signal, process, channel, and more. The transaction level models, TLM, define the communication process, which oftentimes associate with System C. In TLN, it calculates and represents all the operation, state changes, data movements, and computation, which emphasize more on the functionality of the data transfer, especially what data are transferred to and from what location, and less on their actual implementation of the actual protocol. For example, initiator is the one who will transfer the data to the target, and this indicator is independent from the detailed implementation of physical signal. For NDIS, besides our C simulation engine, NDSYNC will also provide system C simulation model. And this is C for our customer to build their virtual prototype. And this is C is our system C simulation model, which is compatible with TLN 2.0 for virtual platform solution. It is extendable, flexible, and near secure accurate simulation models for our NDS Core V5 RISC 5 processor IPs. It is also supported by several simulation models of our ND-shaped platform IP, 
which can let designer quickly to extend their virtual platform. And if customer are using our and this custom extension to build the custom instruction, this is also supported by NDCC. And this is also can work directly with our feature rich and design IDE and NDSOL software stack for user to just start and easily speed up the whole software development cycle with early profiling and get a high level estimation of the performance from expect power design. Our NDCC is supporting all our NDS core with 5 V5 IPs from entry level N22, mid range 25 series, advanced 27 series, to high performance super scale 47 series. It is also supporting several architecture features, for example, interrupt architecture with a vector type PLC, click, performance monitor, hardware stack protection, CSR, and some optional features which based on the availability of each index CPU IP family, such as memory management unit, memory protection unit, I cache, D cache, single and or double position 14 point unit, and digital signal processing unit and so on. NDCC is also supports several different interfaces like clock and recipient, data local memory port, instruction local memory port, interrupt pin which can connect to our plate and slate port for bus master to directly access DLN or ILN for better performance. And also NDCC is supporting the bus interface unit and the AC interface such as NDS custom memory and NDS custom port if customer are using NDS custom extension to define their on custom instruction. Besides from our NDS core, NDCC is also supported by the following simulation model from our ND Shape platforms that designer can extend their virtual prototype, like the MA controller, GPIO, LCD controller, real time clock. Security Digital Host Controller, Synchronous Serial Port, Timer, UR Controller, and the Watchdog Timers. With so many features supported by NDCC, let me give you one practical example that using our NDC Core RIS 5 v 5 module to build a virtual SOC. Streaming port is one of our powerful features that utilize several products from NDIS, including NX27V, Vector Processor Uni, and NDIS Custom Extension to create a special communication port to increase the bandwidth of the data exchange between the register, such as general purpose register, 14 point register, and vector register inside the CPU, and external coprocessor without occupying the baseline pipeline for loading or storing data. The NDCC of the NX27V System C model has two special set of the port created by ACE, which including one command channel for sending a command using handshake protocol. And the data exchange will go through the data channel to load or store data from our two external coprocessor. Some of the computation like message notification or convolution are the best case for using the streaming port. The compute logic is calculating the computation using the current data inside the register file. 
And at the same time, the streaming port and coprocessor are handling the data load or still operation to prepare the next set of the data. As you can see in this example, both models are using system C for communication and the interface are all TLN 2.0 compatible, which the I is the initiator and T is the target to indicate the data movement. Here's a screen capture from the executing the streaming port system C virtual prototype. First, on the left hand side, we execute the system C simulator to bring out the entire virtual platform. And then, in the middle, we run a software application to send different types of the command on command channel to communicate with external coprocessor. And on the right hand side, once the application runs through, there are several information of the operation will be provided to detailed analysis of the hardware behavior using this streaming port virtual platform. NDCC can also work directly with the NDSI IDE and leverage the debug control such as step breakpoint, step in, step through, or step over. This debug communication is using a GDB that the designer can easily to verify the software like bare metal or even auto's application on the system C virtual platform. Now let's quickly to summarize today's talk. NDCC is supported by ND Core, RISC 5 V5 Core, and ND Shape platform IP components, and compatible with third parties IP and tools using industrial standard TLN 2.0 protocol. The system architecture have the flexibility to configure the NDCC model and using this model to construct any virtual SOC under the large ecosystem. With NDCC near circular model, designer can have early profiling during the repeat prototyping stage and get a high level estimation of the performance for the eventual real device. Through so feature rich NDCC IDE, and ND soft software step to interact directly with the NDCC. Designer can facilitate hardware and software co-design through virtual prototyping to speed up the whole development process to provide their SOC to the market much sooner. This is all for today's webinar and thank you for your listening. Now we open for the Q&A session.